<laughs> this might be the saddest day of my life. My Keurig is broken. Uh. Good morning, guys. So the reason why I'm out here in New York City uh, for a day is the shoot. They actually asked me to be a part of the... I'm going to film that at like... What time is it now? <laughs> I did it. I literally thought I had my Apple Watch. I was like joking around. I will film that in about an hour and then I'm gonna get on a plane, head back home. So literally this trip was only 24 hours. It was probably the, one of the quickest times I was in and out of a, a city other than LA that one time. So I'm literally here for only 24 hours and then I get to go back home. In the meantime though, I'm gonna enjoy this view right now because, oh look. I have a cable on this one now. This is going to hurt so bad. <laughs> oh, there's stairs. How do I get down? That was like a fluke, complete fluke, and I knew it would never happen again. Mmm, smells like pizza and sewage. New York. Of course, in 24 hours that I'm here, it's freezing and now raining. You gotta just laugh at things like that. I have to try to find the YouTube space in New York. That's where we're filming everything. And I've actually never, I've been to the LA one, you know, the one with the helicopter in the front, but I've actually, I think it might be the one with the giant Google last night that we saw. If I were to guess, that would probably be a safe guess. This is the elevator to YouTube, YouTube space, right? Yeah. Is that what you did? Yeah, YouTube space. So it's Kiara, right? Yeah, Kiara. I've been working with her for a very long time. I can never uh, say her name right because it's spelled so uniquely. It is. Kira. Yeah. There it is. I got it. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Willy Wonka mobile right here. They can go this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. But well, we're really just going to go up and down. And this is Brad. Hey, how's He's it gonna going? He's going to try to make me look a little bit better than I do. More handsome. More handsome. Can you do it? Yeah. All right. Handsomer. Handsomer. Is it a word? It will be now. If you do it in quotes, it is. Handsomer. There we go. There we go. Anything that's in, in quotes becomes a word. I love that. You all right? Uh, wonderful. I think actually, Charles, I these lights are really hot. Yeah. Okay. I think this lighting is actually better for skin tone. Okay. So turn, but I might be turning them on up and down. Okay, that's fine. I, Nothing for you to be worried about. You're going to do all this and I'm going to like itch my face and talk. And that's fine. We're keeping it real simple today. You have great skin. Yeah. So we're just going to hydrate it and then we're going to do a little bit of Studio Fix powder. Frank? Yeah. Can I use your C4? Yeah. Yeah, way back. I know you're getting makeup done, but this is the script. You don't you don't need to memorize anything, but the they thing. are gonna have you read the whole thing, not okay. just your lines. Okay. So if you wanna just look over it. Look at it. What don't obviously makeup comes first. Well no, I can work around <laughs> okay. it. Okay. Super freaking early, and I wanted to walk around and kind of just check out the YouTube space here. Ooh. Yep, I will take one of these. Unfortunately, they asked that I don't tell you guys exactly what I'm doing right now, but I promise you it's for a great cause. So many spots here. It's really cool that YouTube has these kind of things now. Especially thinking back in the day when this is kind of like unheard of. It literally is like walking in Willy Wonka, the YouTube entrance. We'll read you the whole script. Okay. Line by line. Okay. So you'll just repeat after us. Okay. Do a few a few takes. Yeah. Okay. And we'll get to your particular soon as we get to the right place. Okay. But we're reading through the whole script to have that. Don't worry. To have everything. For the same. edit. You okay. know, Makes if you decide to change things or okay. things. Sounds good. All right, cool. <laughs> like I said, guys, it's the YouTube walk of it. It goes up and down, side to side, diagonals, whichever way, but it's just gonna go straight up and down. <laughs> just like Willy Wonka. Obviously, just finished everything, and I could either go to the airport right now, which I think I might do, but I'm considering, because there's a pizza place called Gotham Pizza, which has now become Ali and ours, like, little pizza place that we kind of found. Like, accidentally discovered here in New York where we were trying to find raised pizza and that literally is I think Ali and I's favorite pizza ever and it's about a mile and a half so I'm thinking about maybe just taking that little walk even in the rain and then I'm going to the airport and then going home it's kind of crazy to think about like I could be in New York City and then in a matter of two or three hours literally back in my own house 
air travel is insane. Like, if you really like kind of break it down, it is kind of fascinating. Especially when people are always complaining about, you know, like things like not working or being late. It's like you could have been in a freaking wagon and your ox getting dysentery. Oh, rolls. I gotta put this away, it's gonna get soaking wet. Hey, you don't want dysentery, guys. You don't want it, and you don't want your ox to die. Found it. I had to do it before leaving. Gotta love that New York traffic. Oh, tell them. <laughs> After tunnel, no traffic. Oh, really? So we just gotta get around this little area. At least it's not as bad as it was yesterday. Praying that there's no delays or cancellations. I want to go home it's so bad right now. There's only so long I can handle New York. It's a beautiful city, but especially when you're by yourself, there's only so long you can handle it. Oh, now I kind of wish I was back in New York with that weather. It's so hot. Oh, there's Allie. Hey, babe. Fair warning, prepare everyone's headphones. Hi. Nope, nope. In fairness, I warned you. Come here. Hi, D. Come here, D. Mr. Diesel. I lost a tooth on that one. Monster. Hey, monster. Diesel, come here. Come here. Come here, buddy. Compressor, I feel like she's calmer. Oh. Hey. Come here. Come here. Watch out, prepare yourself. Lunatic. Come here. Oh, now you're hyper? It's good to be home. I really thought you were gonna like get freaked out more. So now that means awesomeness. Um, I gotta send everything to DFTBA because you'll see at the end of today's video. Uh, the two new t-shirts that we have are finally available at ctfxcmerch.com or like Danny calls it, how to dress like a dork.com. These are like awesome. I love them so much. Tribe Tyler, good friend of ours, took these photos while we were in Washington. We thought it'd be such a unique, different way to make a t-shirt. So these are, I think, the most unique ones we've ever did and I love them so much. I will wear them all the time, but I gotta go do that right now. Wait for, I ordered a pizza on the TV. That's how hungry I am. I went to watch Simpsons and I just was like, oh, there's an app for pizza? And that's what I did, focus. Well, I just got back home. I went and stopped by to go see my sister and my mom at my sister's house. I like pull into the driveway and Charles Don't is- tell him it's embarrassing. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him anyways. Charles is like sitting outside, scared the crap out of me because it's so dark out in front of our house, sitting outside with two boxes and I'm like, oh my God, it freaked me out. So what are you doing out here? And he's like, I've been locked out here for a half hour. Oh. But you knew I was on my way home and you could just said, hey, hey babe. But you were being a good Samaritan. I was being a good Samaritan. I like stopped at uh, Walgreens to grab a few things and there was this lady that was in front of me and she had like her little girl, her husband, and she was actually getting baby formula. She was like trying to pay for all of her food, but she didn't have enough money. So 
you know, she was tr taking things off and I felt so bad for her. And people it, like in front of me, but behind her were getting really upset and frustrated because she was taking too long. So all these people started passing through. And finally like, I get up there and I felt so bad for the lady. She's paying for her things with like nickels and dimes and pennies and taking things off and really like ripped me apart. So I said to her, I'm like, no, just please let me help you with whatever it was. And it wasn't even much. It was under $10 that she needed to get the other things that she wanted. I ended up helping her with that. And I'm not like saying that's a brag, but. What it is, is like an example of paying it forward. Yeah. So tomorrow, cause you're watching, or if you're watching this in the daytime, your job, your mission is to pay one thing forward, guys. It could be, you don't have to buy something for somebody. Just, you know, just a gesture. Because I didn't think twice about it. And that's the thing my mom's like always told me. It's always good to just do good for others. And I guess when I was doing it, I wasn't thinking of like, oh, I'm doing this because it's, I don't know, like to get praise from people. I just like, I genuinely felt for this woman. And like, I've been there where I couldn't afford to pay for things. And I've been there when I needed help from other people. And that's all that kept running through my mind was that, you know, just, she's got her baby here and I, that tomorrow you guys do something good you know without even thinking about it just go out and do something good for someone else or for a friend or for a family member or just do the right thing even the littlest thing like holding a door open or you know smiling giving a wave anything that can bring kind of light to someone's day because you never know what kind of day that they're having and you never know what they're going through in life at that current moment in time and I just think it's always important to just do good and be good I get I think that's a good way to end this Little things count, they really do. Little things count and they can really change someone's entire outlook on that moment. Cause some people are going through some of the craziest things in the world. On that note, good night. We're gonna go have to the Johns and go watch The Simpsons. Bye.